so I'm continuing along with my my workouts taking somewhat of a more free-flowing um, kind of rhythm but still maintaining the same basic underlying structure so I have I have a lower body exercise I have a push and a pull on this day Officially, my lower body exercises the deadlift, and so I drop the weight. You see how how slowly I'm doing it, and I really want to I really want to emphasize that push off the floor. Um, even if I can't do as much weight. Even if I'm failing sooner, um, I'm emphasizing that push off the floor because I want to feel it. I want to feel it in the legs. I want to feel it in the upper back. I, I don't want, I mean, of course the lower back is working, but it's, I shouldn't be like, getting pulled over um, and then only the lower back is saving me from getting pulled over you see there even that last rep everything went up together it was hard it was hard um, but everything went up together I was pushing hard against the floor so very happy with that and then I went up and I just added 20 pounds to the bar. So I did the first set with 185, got eight reps. Second set, I'm only gonna get a single here. Could I get a second one? I don't know. But you see, that was that was pretty tough. So you know, we'll see. We'll see you next time. Can I get two or three? Because. I'm kind of trying to find this balance of I want to I want to improve my form I want to get a good decent number of reps but then also I don't want my body to forget how to lift heavy heavy relative to me but still getting used to lifting heavier weights um and then also here, I'm front squatting every time because even though I am emphasizing the push off the floor more in my deadlifts than I was before, um, uh, as a lower body exercise, I'm still not getting anywhere near the range of motion that you get with full squat and particularly a front squat look at how deep I'm going here and so I'm considering I'm doing my workout every four to five days uh, and I'm considering every to be a total workout right, so Lower body, push, pull. Um, in this case, main lower body workout is the deadlifts, um, which have a different emphasis than the squats. But I also want to include the front squats to make sure I'm getting that full range of motion, full flexion of the quads. Um, My push exercise here is an overhead press, which is more of a vertical push. And then on my other day, I'll do dips, which is more of a horizontal push. Um, and then I'll follow up with chin-ups, which is more of a vertical pull. And the other day, I'll do uh, some rows and 
uh, which, is, which is more of a horizontal pull. Um, again, I'm going to do this as a drop set here, where I'm doing 30 pounds, and I'll do as much as I can, like 80 reps or something like that. Um, and then I'll try and then I'll drop the weight and try and burn it out with um, with the 20 pounders. Um, again, not worrying too much about the weight. mostly a vertical push but also you know obviously it's not I'm not at a hundred percent 90 degree angle because this is the highest setting that my bench has and I think it works because then you know I'm getting a little bit of the upper chest here also um, obviously not as much chest work as it will with the, the dips um, but a little bit here but anyway, some good and good uh, pushing exercise here. So again, lower body push pull, also very much focusing more on movements than muscle groups. Although I do add in some curls, um, I don't really feel like I need to add in like a triceps extension because I. Uh, even when I was working out at a commercial gym and I w had all the equipment that I needed available, ah! I always felt like dips were the best triceps exercise. Um, and, and when I do them at home, they just, they just burn. So. how it's st sticking on that. Oh, I managed to get uh, seven reps again, which I'm uh, going to keep looking at it. I think I did get an extra couple reps though on my uh, on my reverse rows. I also think my chin was a little bit better than last time. hurt. These negatives hurt. I don't know if I did two or three. And I can kind of hold it in a fully contracted position because there's some leverage advantages. But once I start to, once I start to come down a little bit and lose that angle, it's really hard to hold it up, and I think by about the third uh, rep, I'm just barely controlling the, the descent, the speed of the descent. Also, my the total time of my workout has not really increased. I'm usually like just under an hour. You know, so I'm very, very close to an hour workout. Um, but my actual my actual workload, my actual working time it has increased considerably because I'm just with each movement I just keep going and going until I can't go anymore. like the 
these two. Rows. Get a great contraction on them. see what we can do with the dumbbell curls. Um, I went to spider curls. I've done spider curls before and been able to get, uh, you know, seven or eight reps with, with 20. I haven't done them in a while. Um, it is sort of a weaker angle than just doing regular dumbbell curls. And I think that combined with the fact that I was already so fried, I just couldn't do more than a couple reps. So I dropped the weight, come back, get like 15 pounds, and I think I'm going to get another six or seven times. I don't know if I'll continue with the spider curls. I'll just do some regular dumbbell curls. I like the angle of the spider curls, but at the same time, you know, um, things there's more setup to do it here with the with the spider curls which means I can't get through things as quickly Does create a really good contraction. I don't know. Might try just regular dumbbell curls and see how, how that feels next time. Uh, I do kind of like doing it with the dumbbells as opposed to the barbell. The barbell's good. I like the stability. But I think my ideal wrist position is not not quite straight and you know and also can change a little bit through the range of motion that's it <laughs>